So you want to be a millionaire? Who wants to be a millionaire? Let's talk about how you can get there at any age. All right, so everybody wants to be a millionaire, but how do you get there? Is it even possible? A lot of times people think that it's so far-fetched to become a millionaire that they'll never be able to do it. Well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna break down the numbers of exactly how much you need to invest, what the return needs to be for you to become a millionaire at any age. We're gonna have three factors that go into this. Factor one is what your current age is because we need to know how long you have to save. Factor two is going to be an interest rate. And the interest rate that we use is 7% because the S&P 500 actually averages 9% historically. So 7% is a pretty conservative number if you're investing in an S&P 500 index over a long period of time. And the third factor is what age you wanna become a millionaire by. Now everyone's different, so we just took 65 because that's the typical retirement age for people in the United States. And what we're going to do is show you how much you need to save if you're earning 7% and you want to become a millionaire by age 65. So we're going to start with a 20 year old. And if you're 20 and you want to become a millionaire, it actually is not that hard. You have to contribute $262.15 per month at a 7% interest rate to become a millionaire by age 65. And I know you're probably thinking, well, that doesn't sound that bad. We're actually gonna to get to how good it is when we get into the actual contribution numbers in a second. If you're 30 and you wanna become a millionaire, you have to contribute $552.02 every single month at a 7% interest rate to become a millionaire at age 65. If you're 40, I think you're seeing a trend here, it's $1,227.30 per month to reach a million dollars by age 65. And the last one is if you're age 50, it's $3,136.66 is the amount that you're gonna to have to contribute to become a millionaire by age 65. And if you're saying, well, you said I'd, you'd tell me how to become a millionaire at any age and I'm age 60, well, take that same formula. If you're age 60, over 15 years, if you contribute that same amount as age 50, you'll become a millionaire by age 75. Now what's really interesting are these numbers. And as you see, they increase drastically. And you might say, yeah, that's because you're getting older, but that's not the biggest factor. The biggest factor is the amount of compound interest. Albert Einstein jokingly said that compound interest was the most powerful force in the universe. And you're about to see why. All right, so we know the numbers of how much you have to contribute, but let's see how much you actually contribute over that time frame, and how much is the interest that you've earned. Let's first start with the 20 year old. Over that time frame, if you're contributing the $262.15 per month, that equals $141,561 over those 45 years. That means that over 85% of what you have in that account will be from the compound interest if it makes 7%. That is incredible. Now you can see why Einstein called it the most powerful force in the universe. Now let's take a look at the 30 year old. If you contribute the $552.02 per month over that time frame, you would have contributed $231,000 $848.40. That's still great. You're talking about over 76% of what you have when you turn 65 will be from the compound interest. 40 years old, if you contribute the 1,227, you end up with $368,000 of contribution. Still 63% of that is interest. Lastly, the 50 year old, and this might not sound as exciting since we've seen those other numbers, but if you contribute $3,136 per month, every month up until your age 65, 
over 43% of your million dollars is from the compound interest. So now you know the math behind becoming a millionaire. But really what I want you to learn from this video is that pretty much anybody can do it if you set yourself up right and you start at a young enough age. The other big thing that you need to know is that you need that compound interest. You need to be able to let your money work for you. If all you did was contribute the $262 when you're age 20, you'd only have $141,000 by the time you're 65. So you have to make sure that you let your money work for you. If it's sitting there, it needs to go to work and that's how you can get to that millionaire status. A lot easier than if you just contributed a million dollars yourself. So make sure that your money is working for you using compound interest. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please consider subscribing. We don't do any kind of sales or pressure or anything like that. Our goal is to educate, is to help you become financially aware, to become financially educated, and just give you good information. So if you like that and that's something that you're interested in, please consider subscribing to our channel.